We have the Egg Timer Rocketry Quasar, the latest flight computer with Wi-Fi, telemetry, and GPS. Let's open it up, take a look, see what we have. We've got the parts list. We have the circuit board with the GPS, it looks like, already pre-soldered. All the parts. We have a small antenna. We have some solder. And a couple modules. Okay, let's begin assembly. I'm going to start by using a 3cc syringe with a 20 gauge applicator. Uh, to apply solder paste to each of the surface mount pads. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, that looks like all the solder paste is applied. Now, let's get some parts down, shall we? Okay, let's put down some of the 103 resistors. I'm gonna use my curved tweezers to put them in place. Now let's go ahead and get our 104s. Got a 102. Let's get that guy down. Now let's get 223. Throw it on the 472s. Find our regulator. Let's put him down. Here we let's put down the PCA. And we've got the bevel on the top, which will indicate pin one. Let's find the EEPROM, put that down. Let's throw down those drivers. We've got the bevel on the top. one of these small three pin packages let's just set him down brown parts in clear tape that's going to be our 10 microfarad I see 104 is the 0 0.1 microfarad cap and that is brown part in white paper there we go Appears to be all the parts on the back side. Let's take our hot air on a low speed and let's start to heat this up nice and slowly. There we go, and we're all soldered. And let's check for any shorts. If you noticed, we had a short initially in here, but the flux cleaned that up as it all reflowed. So that's all looking good. That row's looking good. No shorts up here, that's great. That looks good, that looks good. 
nice fillets that looks good good it's all looking perfect 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 no shorts no shorts flowed nice fillets and this side's looking good so the only thing left on the back side of this board is the RF module that goes right over here. We will place that after we get all the rest of the surface mount done and get rid of the bulk of the heat. So until then, let's go ahead and flip this part over. And let's get back to what we know how to do. Throw down the solder paste. Perfect. Let's put down the 10 microfarad capacitor. The 0.1 microfarad capacitor. and resistor 331. Now I can throw the LED on with the green tabs facing to the left. Now if we slide our board over, we have a 472. Now we've got a C104. Down here at the bottom. And we have a 104. We will place him with the arrow facing to the left in this case. The arrow facing this connector here. Got another 10 mic that goes over there. That soldered. So we'll get the hot air back out. Let's see, that's just taking a whole lot of heat. Don't want to go too crazy on him. Let's uh, just hit that with a normal iron. Looks like the top has flowed already. That's good. Okay, the board's not too hot. Let's go ahead and flip it around. And hit this side with the hot air. Okay, and I didn't like how the left side of this guy flowed, so I'm just going to touch that up real quick. There we go. Okay, next, let's go ahead and add the FET with the metal tab facing back. Let's take it out of its mount and bend the pins just a little. I bend them in alternating directions just to hold the part in place. Take your iron. Apply to one side, give just a little bit to wet the joint, and then I come in from the back. Just like that, we are soldered in place. Now I'll take a set of flush cut side cutters, just 
put my finger over the top because otherwise the pins will go flying when you cut them. You don't cut through the fillet that you put down when you solder it. You leave that in place and just cut the excess off the top. Now let's come back to the top side. And find our rectifier, which is the ST part. And yeah, let's put our metal tab facing the back. And let's do the same thing. Grab your flush side cutters. We bent those pins over. Now let's solder it in place. There we go. Header is soldered in place. I'm going to lock this into the vise. Find my ESP, which is this little guy, which will go down just like this. Now, my one critique about this kit is if you extended the pads out further, which there's plenty of room to do, then you could skip the whole resistor lead soldering and push using that to feed through and you could just solder straight to the pads like every other ESP kit. And that would make this kit a lot less frustrating. This is the worst part of these kits in my experience. That is all ugly, ugly, ugly. Let's hit it with a little flux. Perfect. That looks a whole lot better. I'm going to flip this over. Apply a little more flux. Okay, that looks so much better. That is acceptable. Okay, now we can install our right angle connector. It's not wanting to stay put, so we will just rest it against the bottom. Let's mount the SIP 102. And you want the side with the text and the dot 
to face the ESP module. There we go. And we've got good fillets on all the pins, so we are golden. Okay, we have another two pin jumper to add. The run jumper, which goes right here by the GPS. We'll do the same thing. Just rest it on the work surface. There we go, it gets the jumper. Perfect. Now let's work on the RF module. So I'm going to apply a little bit of solder paste to each of these pads. Go ahead and place the module down. I'm not super happy with the third one in. There we go. I know those joints are good now. Now all that is left is to mount the antenna. So I will go ahead and remove the board from the clamp. The antenna is going to go in the top side of the pad with the screw coming in from the bottom. And it looks just like that. And that is the assembly of the Egg Timer Quasar. Now for the most important part, to attempt to power it on, see what happens. I've got a power supply set for 8.0 volts. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Well, had a blinking lights on the bottom. We have a beeper, so that's a good sign. Perfect. Everything seems to be working. We'll do a more thorough test later. But that's the assembly of the Egg Timer Quasar. Thanks for watching.